Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another figure review. I know it's been a few weeks again uh, since my last crop of videos, but uh, yeah, just been getting by and uh, yeah, not, not picking up too much. Um, sort of getting back into the swing of things and yeah, I'm picking up a few figures here and there, but nothing, nothing major. So I thought I'd do a few reviews of some figures that I have picked up recently. Um, obviously to start off, we're going to go with uh, Republic Commando Scorch, also known as RC. 1262 from the Gaming Greats line of the Black series. It's a nice figure. I'm glad to have this one in the collection. Um, nice to finally fill out the squad too. Get it nice and close. You can zoom up on the... See if it'll autofocus for me. Probably not. That's okay. Does say RC-1262, nickname Scorch, serves under the Galactic Republic's clone army as part of the Delta Squad, a squad of Republic commandos created to infiltrate, dominate, and ultimately annihilate the enemy. So I do like the packaging, um, even though it's the windowless, which, you know, frustrates me to no end <laughs> that they couldn't put the fourth member of, of the Delta Squad in um, plastic window box packaging to match the rest of them at very least um, and I also am happy to know that they are going to go back to the window packaging um, just making some smarter decisions about what kind of what kind of plastic they're going to use uh, for the packaging in, instead of what they have been using it's just trying to find a nice middle ground um, and I think that will benefit the, the Black Series line a lot um, going back to being able to see what you're actually getting before you buy it. Um, whereas, you know, these gaming greats figures, they are released at 55 bucks here in Australia. Um, they do tend to go down after a little while. They have been recently. Um, but yeah, I, I, I picked this one at full price. I didn't know how long he'd stick around for, so I decided to grab him. But let's take a look at the figure himself. So here we have Scorch and, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a nice looking figure. I really like this one. He is my he's my favourite member of the crew of the Delta Squad. Um, this was the first figure I picked up in the Delta Squad three three quarter inch um, in terms of characters, and that was back from the Saga line from two thousand and six, I think. So yeah, we're go we're going back a fair way now. Now, yeah, I, I love what they've done with the figure. Um, I know I've spoken at length in previous versions uh, with Boss, Sev, and Fixer, which I have reviewed all of them. Um, a lot of the talk's been about the uh, the inaccuracies of the armor. Um, you know, basically reusing Hunter's body for the most part. But uh, in terms of you know Scorch's appearance in the Bad Batch recently, towards the end of Season 2. Um, he's probably more close to this than he was the original sort of uh, Republic Commando video game look. So I'm willing to I'm willing to go with it. Um, I did notice the difference in the Bad Batch is his backpack isn't like this. It's sort of the more simplified, sort of smaller version, whereas this one is, is sort of a little bit more on the uh, accurate side to the old video game and stuff like that so the old figures but uh yeah he's he's a really really nice figure the weathering's really nice on this figure as well really do like the metallic blue of the visor and even the just the little blue bits at the top here on the backpack while they're not metallic they do i don't know just add something nice with that sort of blue blue of the visor with the two blue bits on the back this sort of breaks up the color a little bit. I think that's really nice. It's a nice, nice uh, paint paint job with the with the armor as well, like the rest of the squad. Really, they've they've all been pretty decent. The dirt and scuff marks and stuff in the paint does have his slightly heavier heavier blaster here, which is sweet. It does have this little added bit here. I still don't know what it is. Um, yeah, I should, should have done my research to find out exactly what that is and what it does. 
you get sort of dirt patches throughout. I just really like the uh, the contrast between like the sort of the sort of dark grey and the yellow and the white. I think it looks really nice. Uh, Hasbro has also just revealed just with uh, Star Wars Celebration Europe just happening in London this past weekend. Um, we are getting gonna, getting a plain white shiny version in the uh, Bad Batch wave. Um, so that'll be cool if you're willing to if you want to have a crack at customizing and come up with your own sort of Republic Commando. I reckon that'd be a a nice clean canvas to work on. Um, well, you just keep a nice shiny. I'd like to see Gregor Gregor be done. I think that would be sweet. So yeah, nice figure poses well. Got all the articulation you want. Um, and yeah, just some of those unique elements that this these figures have compared to each other. Um, the only bummer I have at the moment is I can't display them all together as I have uh, Boss is in storage somewhere. Um, and yeah, he's in the storage container in amongst, I don't know, one in one in a dozen or more tubs. Like, I'm not going to go searching. It's too hard. <laughs> um, so one day I will have the four, four crew members together, which will be great. I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these. Public Commando is a big fan of these figures. It's really nice to have have the full crew. I never got them in, never got them all in three and three quarter inch. I did get Scorch and then the Clone Wars version of Boss. But yeah, it's a, it's a first for me having to being able to complete this squad and uh, you know having them in Black Series is really cool. I'd love to get them in TVC one day, but um, yeah, not not at the moment. But uh, yeah, nice to have them. It's also good to be back. I'm, uh, you know, I've been always itching to get new content up, but it's just been a little bit tricky lately. Um, but yeah, bear with me, guys. I appreciate, do appreciate your support and everyone coming to watch when I do put videos up. It doesn't mean a lot to me. Um, it's nice to still still get comments and and have people ch chat and start up conversations with me, especially during the downtime. It's nice to it's nice to talk with people in the community. So um. Yeah, please send out down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Definitely appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'll be back soon for some more videos. Until then, may the force be with you always.